20,000 milliamps? Man, what are you talking about? really just wish there was a, a down and dirty formula that somebody would come up with that would let a through hiker know what size of battery that they need to take based on their needs. And I think that's really what it boils down to is determining what your needs are. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you know what it is that I'm bringing and why I think a 10,000 milliamp battery is going to be more than enough for even the longest stretches on the PCT. I've been doing a lot of a lot of looking around trying to see what it is exactly I want to bring as far as uh, you know my charging uh, electronics and um, it's got to be honest man it's about as difficult as is determining what what kind of quilt to bring so a um, lot of choices and and some of the resources that I've utilized is going on reddit you know looking up on, on different uh, blogs and um, definitely YouTube I've I researched all of the things I can find on YouTube with regard to that. Saw some good things from, you know, of course, Darwin and Dixie and, and Jay Wanders Out had a good video. Nemore had a, a good video that I had some takeaways from. So, um, you know, that's how you learn is, is just going and trying to seek this information out. And I'm not saying you're necessarily going to learn anything from me, but I want to put this out there because... Um, you know, I want, to, I want to come back later on and do a kind of a follow-up video to say what things worked and what things didn't work. And, um, you know, were some of my decisions a swing and a miss or, or did I hit it out of the park? So that's kind of what the intent of this video is. And hopefully somebody can get something from it again that, that they may be able to use. Yeah, I, I wound up settling on the 10,000 milliamp. Um, you know, now what I like to have maybe had a bigger battery, of course, but obviously they're so much heavier and um, is, it, is it really going to be necessary? Um, I really had to pare back some of the, the electronics that I had intended to originally bring when um, you know I initially thought um, of doing this. But as I started counting ounces and realizing you know the weight that's going to be involved and the weight savings that I could have if I'm utilizing my equipment much more ju judiciously and selecting what I'm bringing uh, much more carefully, um, it, it, it kind of forced me in the direction of being less rather than more. So um, 10,000 milliamps, I believe, is going to be more than enough, even in the longest stretches in the Sierras. And, and the reasons why is because I'm only bringing three um, electronic devices, which is going to be my phone, which will be primarily used for gut hooks navigation, capturing video and, and photos. Um, the, the phone itself is going to be... Um, kept in airplane mode nearly all of the time. It's going to be turned off at night, which will save battery. I'm going to be putting it in the foot box of my quilt at night, which will help to uh, minimize the temperature extremes that, that, that help degrade uh, your battery life. Um, as well, if I get into a situation where I believe that, you know, hey, maybe I'm going to need more, more uh, to extend my battery life, I'm just going to keep my phone in the off position um, until I decide, hey, I want to capture something, I'll, I'll boot it up. Or if I am trying to communicate um, in some fashion, I'll turn it on. Otherwise, it'll be in, it'll be in the off position until I need to use it. So, um, as well, I'm going to be bringing my Garmin InReach Mini. The Garmin InReach Mini is going to be basically left in the off position. The only time that it's going to be turned on is is maybe once or twice a day to check for messages. Uh, from home and then to send a message to home in the evening letting everyone know that hey we're you know we're still doing okay um, otherwise it'll be left in the off position and the only other time that it will be turned on is if Rebecca and I happen to separate then we will both turn on our, our uh, in reaches and, and be able to communicate that way um, and then also I'll be bringing a rechargeable headlamp and that rechargeable headlamp will um, you know be utilized in the tent at night and then it'll also be used for night hiking. Um, so the, the battery usage on that is going to be fairly minimal, but you know that's that's one more device that we'll be um, taking from that 10,000 milliamp. So well, now let's go inside and talk about the equipment and look at it a little bit in greater detail. Okay, I decided to get the Rav Power 10,000 milliamp. Uh, it's Qualcomm 3.0 quick charge, uh, both input and output. 
and I'm going to pair that with this Anchor Power Port Speed 2, which is a um, two port 3.0 Qualcomm quick charge uh, outputs. And then I also have charging cable, which is a micro USB, and then I'll have my um, USB C um, charging cable from my phone that's three foot long. Yeah, which will allow me to utilize my phone while I'm plugged in and I'm not like sucked right up to the, to the outlet. So all of this stuff um, in total comes in under 14 ounces, which is what I had uh, originally kind of figured that it would, and, and I'm happy with that. Yeah, so the primary reason that I decided to get the Qualcomm 3.0 uh, is just because of the faster charging technology. Um, primarily from the charger to the brick because this will charge at 3.0. However, when I'm plugging my phone into this, it, however, because it's a Samsung phone, does not charge at 3.0. It charges at a lesser quick charge speed of 2.0. And a little known fact that if you have a Samsung of any model, and this, this happens to be an S10, one of the latest versions, and it's still at 2.0. So if you think you're getting Qualcomm 3.0 and charging at that speed on your phone, you, you might be interested to know that that may not be the case. And I will include a link in the description which outlines which phones charge at 3.0 and which char phones charge at the lesser 2.0. And I was very interested to find out myself in doing the research that... Um, you know, even a brand new Samsung phone like I have is going to only charge at 2.0. So if you think that that's something that you're interested in um, learning a little bit more about, just check a check the link that I'll put in the that's description. That's pretty cool. The um, It comes with this little cool little thing that the battery can be slipped into. And actually the, the wall charger fits in here as well as you can put the cords in this. However, it's not waterproof. Um, weighs 0.3 Ziploc bag is waterproof hmm 0.2 winner everything in the bag 14 ounces even Hey, to wrap things up, guys, I will say that I will be including a link to the equipment that I'm going to be taking in the description below for you guys to check out if you're at all interested. Um, however, um, I would encourage you to do your own research, find out what gear it is that's going to meet your needs, and then move accordingly based on that. Um, because what gear I'm taking may not specifically be right for you. But uh, um, yeah, thanks for watching again. And Leave me a comment and or suggestions if you have any. And um, like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs down if you like. Whatever you want to do, man, it's cool. Uh, until next time, peace.